Hey everyone, just want to give you a quick tip on how to use uh, build scripts in Sublime Text 2. Build scripts are particularly um, helpful when you're, you're coding in a language that needs to be compiled um, and you want to be able to compile it straight from Sublime Text and rather than exiting out to um, some compiler. So um, personally I use it on uh, CoffeeScript and when I need to run a, a simple node program. So normally what I would do is just go uh, open up a, a terminal window and type see my files here we have test.coffee I would just type coffee compile test.coffee and then we have test.js um, that's kind of annoying to go in there every time another thing that we could do is just watch the file and every time there's a, a change to the the coffee script file it will compile itself um, it's kind of annoying to have to type in the entire path every time we, we want to do that. So um, a quick way to do that is to create a build script uh, within Sublime Text. So you want to go to Tools, Build System. You'll see they have a, a bunch of built-in ones. We're going to click New Build System. And this is kind of the boilerplate that it gives us. Um, we're going to get rid of that make. And the command is basically what we were just typing into Terminal. So it's Copy is compile and then we need to use the variable file um, there's, a, there's a number of variables that you can use when you're running your commands um, I'll post a link to that list within my uh, tutorial on my blog uh, on the next line we need to use a selector and basically what the selector is is a way of telling um, Sublime 2 what build script to use within what type of file so if we go to build system and we see that's on automatic it's gonna say it's gonna sense what type of file you're in and use it on that one so we want to use this obviously a coffee script file so we're just gonna type source dot coffee um, and then it'll know and then the final thing is the path and what the path means is that um, because when we run a build script it's gonna run through the Python console because sublime text is built on Python uh, we don't really want that we want to run it in bash so we just need to make sure that we tell it that we want to do that so it says user local bin um, it's the equivalent of us typing user local bin coffee and then our file name um, if we just type coffee that's just a, a shortcut uh, so that's it uh, we want to go ahead and save it I like to keep a uh, a subdirectory called build this is obviously within your library application support sublime text 2 packages and users where all of your stuff will live um, I like to keep a build folder within that so I'm gonna name it uh, my coffee script build we're gonna save it go over to the build um, you see it's not showing up there that's because we need to restart sublime text so I'm just gonna restart it quickly nice thing about sublime is that it restarts super quickly and we're back up again we go to tools build system and you see my coffee script build click that um, you can also set it to automatic if you don't have any other ones that are going with the uh, dot coffee file name uh, so you see I just have a bit of coffee script written here I'll we'll save it I'll show you my window over here test.coffee if we just hit command B um, you'll see the Python uh, console pops up here it says finished and the test.js file here um, has been compiled um, if you don't want to hit compile every time, that's fine. We just go ahead and hit WC. WC means watch and compile. So that means every time we make a change to our file, it's just going to compile it again. If we delete it and run a build, uh, we're good to go. Uh, the next one I want to show you is actually simpler than that one and that's just for running uh, simple little node files so we're going to tools build system new build system and the command we want to do is node
and we just want to run it against the file. Selector source.js and the path again, same as CoffeeScript. User local bin. Save that. We're going to go into our build. I'm going to call it my node build. Save it. Restart. Go over to our node test. Make sure not my node build is on. Hit command B. And you'll see that we just have var, our var i equals 9. We just loop through each of those. And you can see it logs them right out there for us. Um, it actually, there seems to be an error in here because I have an s. And it also gives us um, the error that you would normally see in your terminal window. So build it again. Good to go. Uh, so that's that. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you could do. Uh, a lot of people use it for SaaS. Um, and that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.